All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today, I want to show you and talk a little about how to preserve your physical copy PlayStation 2 games and rip them and save them over to a hard drive. Now, I have a solid state drive here, but if you got a regular hard drive, it'll work the same. Um, you do need to have free McBoot because you will need OPL manager and all them to access the games. And of course, you'll need your free McBoot with a third party application that works with it that allow you to download and rip those games, which is called HDO Game Installer. So I'm going to leave a description in the video to where you're going to go and learn and get all the information you need to download that so that where you can get to where I am. OK, I already put the new application onto my free MacBook card. The video I have in the description below or right over here on the tab. It'll show you um, how to install it and everything, okay? Where to go, what website and everything. So go do that. Once you put your your new file onto your free MacBook card, go ahead and turn on your PlayStation 2. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and hook this all back up. I got two games that I want to go ahead and save. These are my games. Legally, you can back up all your games because you physically own them like i physically own those games and i already backed up every single other one that i have these are the last two and as you can see you're going to need of course you know the the adapter here so that you can run a hard drive i also have the uh knock two fan over there i love it i mean i've left my playstation 2 run for oh man six hours i forgot it was on but just running in the background and it didn't overheat nothing everything was good so i'm pushing it so that it gets good contact and it's always good to make sure that your hard drive is uh seated nicely too because i've put this up and it'll still say it's, it's not reading nothing and i'm like oh man i gotta go take it all apart all right so yeah, let's go plug up my beautiful PlayStation 2. I love the fat. I, I had some slims, but I turned them into other projects. So yeah, let me go show you how you can start ripping your game, your games with the HDL game installer. All right, y'all. So once you have it up and running, you got your OPL where your free McBoot menu open. Once you uploaded your HDO game installer and named it whatever you want to name, just like the video showed you, this is mine. I named mine HDO. I didn't want to type in that whole long name. That's the only reason mine says HDO only because I didn't want to put the full name. But you hit your X button, open the HDO game loader. Takes a little bit to open. There it goes. All right. Now, it's always going to say that. It's always going to say trying to connect to the network because, yeah, it has that feature. But, yeah, of course, I don't have mine hooked up to the Wi-Fi or nothing or no landline or none of that. So once it goes through and gives you that error, there's no connection, you just hit OK with the X button. It says hard disk drive, not formatted, format warning, all data will be erased. No. Let me hit cancel. Why is it uh, saying that? That's new. All right. Why do my videos always go like this? Something. Okay. Let's see what's going on. All right. So I just started it all over again, y'all. So if you get this error, uh, format your, your <laughs> hard drive. No. Do not do that because... You will uh, lose whatever games or everything that's on there. Now, if it's brand new and you have no files on there, yes, go ahead and use this to format your SD card so that you can start playing on it, you know. But other than that, no, no, no. Follow your other steps that you did, your OPL, because I have a link in the description on how to set up a solid-state drive, hard drive, to run with your OPL. I'll have a link in the description below. Go follow that video, set up your OPL, get it running. And then go get the HDL game installer, you know, add on, add that to the free McBoot and then open it up just like I showed you now. And you're going to see this where we're at. And on the top, it shows I still have 
32 gigabytes available in my hard drive. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome there that it lets you know. And these are all the games. I can start them like this, or I can go back to my OPL and play them. But this is everything that I um I have that I ripped. And it's amazingly just how easy your games will play when you do it. So what uh the way you would do it is let me turn the lights back on. All right, so now you can see. Here is my physical copy game, my PlayStation Two. That's why I'm 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 doing this because see how that didn't want to open. So I put my game there. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. See that disc drive is getting iffy. So um, to preserve it, make sure that it doesn't break in the future and it's still good. So when I get newer games that I want to back up, I guarantee that that disc drive is is safe and still working. This is while I'm doing it. All right. So now that I got my game in there, I'm going to take my controller. I'm going to hit start. It's going to say reading disc. So now when you get to this menu, it says full title, max 80 characters. This is where you're going to write the whole up to 80 characters of your title. Hit X on this first line. And this is the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. So I'm going to type all that in. I type it all in. You hit start one time. It'll highlight enter gray. And then you can hit X or start. Now, right here, you're going to need to put another name up to 16 characters. So, once again, go and put whatever it can fit. And then you hit triangle for space. Right there, it says enter space. You just hit triangle one time. X to uh, put it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let me put all these in. So, that's the... The max that I can put is uh, the SpongeBob Squaw. That's it. That's 16 letters. Spaces do count. So I hit enter one time. Hit I mean, hit start one time and then hit X. I'm going to put the same name here. The Sponge Square. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Yeah. Oh, the SpongeBob, not the Sponge Square. What am I putting? All right, whatever. The SpongeBob. I'll go back. Uh, the SpongeBob. Yes. What is it? Q. All right, yeah. The SpongeBob Square. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Is that the same as the top? No. So, what am I doing? Oh, I misspelled it. So we're going to go ahead and hit, uh, what is it, R1, and right after the G, we're going to add, what is that, an E, All right, S-O-P-O-N-G-E, yeah. All right, nope, I can't add it, I forgot. Move the cursor over the R1, and then I'm going to push square to go back, all right? So now I'm going to push L1 to move this cursor back over to the G and put that E. So there, SpongeBob Square, that's it. Start one time, X. So now that I got the first line with the complete title, the second line with whatever it fills up, second line, the same thing. I'm going to push down on the D-pad, continue to go all the way down to highlight next. Next will highlight gray, a little brighter than the other one. You hit X on it. It said proceed. You're going to push down once and go to OK. Hit X. And then right here is actually icon source. Just hit default. Just, just leave it alone. Push down once on the, your D-pad. To highlight OK, hit X button. And right here, it just wants to confirm again. So you hit down one time on the D-pad to go to OK and hit X. And boom, here it is in real time. You can see it. It's calculating how many time remaining to show you that it's downloading and you know, copying it over. So, so you can preserve your your all of your PlayStation 2 games this way to a solid state drive. So if you get a one terabyte or two of terabyte, they have a new OPL that's compatible with up to, I think, five or eight terabytes, something like that. And this will allow you to put all 1,200 um, 
physical copy backups of every single one of your physical copy games. You know what I'm saying? Because in America, I think it was 1,200 or 1,500 games they made total for the PlayStation 2. And so as you can see, this this takes, depending on how big the game is, uh, Only Mushu 3 was so so big of a game that it took almost 40 minutes, y'all. 40 minutes I had to sit here. I went and uh, lay down and, you know, and came back. And I'm like, oh, it's still going. And then, so, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and let this finish. And uh, I'll let y'all real quick. We're going to pause it and come back to it. All righty, y'all. So now it finished downloading and copying it over to the hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and hit the X button one time. And if you just scroll down, all the way down, you'll see a new game. Let me see, where is it at? SpongeBob. Oh, right. It's an S. Oh, where'd it go? Did I pass it up? Oh, it's the SpongeBob. Yeah, so it come, T comes after the S, yeah. So the SpongeBob movies right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my Indiana Jones one later. So I want to go ahead and show you how to you know, play your game now. So go ahead and hit circle to quit the program. Yes, we're going to push down to OK and hit X on OK. We're going to go back over here. All right, so we're going to push circle to go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove that game. And we're going to start our OPL all over again. Oh, wait, let me close it. All right, let's dig it all over again. <laughs> all right. All right, so we go down to OPL now. Store out, but up our OPL. I'm going to go over to our hard drive and we should see our game. Let's go over here. Go down to the T's. There it is. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. So we're going to open it up by hitting X. Look how easy it loads. Just like that, y'all. Beautifully. Easily. Yeah, that's that's PlayStation 2 with component cables, y'all. Looking in like 4K. <laughs> it's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, this will allow you to preserve your games beautifully, y'all. So go out there and get your free McBoot. You can get it from Amazon, eBay. Let's you can make your it. own. You can do all that. As you can see, it plays perfect. No cheese, y'all. No cheese. Camera course doesn't do it justice. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph <laughs> against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town he got of love Bottom. Though. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute. Hold your seahorses. <laughs> All righty, y'all. Until next time. Peace and much love from Joe Retro World, y'all.